just another day at the office, deorbiting a large rock on Duna. <laughs> We're losing control, Houston. We need assistance. Hello guys, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest, Series 2, Part 26, Captured Asteroid to Duna. Yes, in this episode, we are going to go and capture an asteroid and take it on a journey. Because that's what you do with asteroids, isn't it? Yes, anyway, this is the build we're doing. I skipped a couple of things on it, like building the main rocket. I didn't record it. I should have. But anyway, we got adding boosters, and I decided we need a lot of boosters. And you see here, I'm checking the staging, making sure that the fuel flow, which is a bit more complex on this multi-stage asparagus wizardry, I suppose you could call it. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, if you want to be Kerbal, type Kerbal in the in the comments below. Otherwise, I won't find your comment when I filter them out. And with this one, I decided to launch it with MechJet because it's the safer bet. Make it do a slow gravity turn up into orbit. And there goes the first lot of boosters. Yeah, that was what I was scared of. But I decided it looked easy for for MechJet, so why don't I have a go? And that's what I did. Yeah, and I did mess up the stage, and even after checking all that fuel flow in the KSC or Kerbal Space? No, Kerr, uh, Vehicle Assembly Building, that's the one. Forgot my acronyms. Very important when you're in space flight. If you forget your acronyms when you're doing space flight, they ask you to turn off the SAS and you turn off life support instead. Yes, things can go awry. Haha. <laughs> anyway, getting into a bit, I find that this is pretty easy. This is quite stable. It must be something to do with all that extra thrust I put on the bottom of the rocket. Normally, things that size flipped out, at least in my history of my Kerbal Space Questing. Anyway, finally getting into orbit. I made a save of the MechJet one, just in case I messed this one up. And I compared the Delta V I had on this launch and the MechJet launch. And MechJet was 100 meters per second more efficient than I was. So yeah, I used the MechJet one. But hey, I done pretty well myself. Consider I don't launch myself <laughs> that often. And what we're doing here, we're looking for an asteroid. I decided we won't capture it in orbit around Kerbin, only when it's on its close approach to Kerbin. I've done so many Kerbin capture asteroids bases on them. I've done a whole series, Mind the Man series. And look at that decouple, yes, I almost forgot about that. That was cool. I have to remember as well to install the camera mods to make this a bit more cinematic. What do you guys think? I know, now we're on our way. And things don't go as I planned, no. First off, the warp helper did not help. Secondly, the sphere of influence, we weren't leaving Kerbin, we did not have enough thrust. I just gave us enough thrust to leave Kerbin's sphere of influence, but we still had to add that little extra. And this was the hardest part, trying to get the maneuver to that close approach for the asteroid. Yeah, it could only get about 74 kilometers, 74,000 kilometers, 74 million miles, uh, no, meters, yeah, 74,000 kilometers. And still everything was messed up because we came in contact with Kerbin. It looks like we don't want to leave Kerbin's sphere of influence, but finally we do again. And I line up, I get an awesome separation intersect with the asteroid, 51 kilometers. It does get messed up a little slightly in another correction, because the asteroid had an encounter with Kerbin as well. Hmm. Kerbin is messing up my orbit. We can't allow that. So after this burn, after the asteroid encounters Kerbin, we do another correction burn. And I have to say, this was one of the longest videos I made from a single launch. I'm trying to think of other ones. I did multiple uh, bases. But anyway, we get a close approach, 46 kilometers. Anyway, let's quickly head towards the asteroid or kill our velocity first because we've done a quick flyby of it. Yeah, be careful that time warping because if, you, if, you, if, you, if your trigger finger is too itchy, you can quickly pass by it without <laughs> slowing down in time. 
Anyway, that's done. Let's quickly head towards it and get our rendezvous. Close approach. We need to capture this thing before we can take it to another planet. I have to be a bit honest here. I didn't choose Duna at the start. No, that was sort of an offshoot. That was my backup plan. And I used my backup plan because I was a bit scared. I, in fact, was planning on taking this to Elu. I'm sure I had enough Delt V in this, but it's difficult to say. Especially when you're launching large rockets, then Delta V can be a bit more awry because, as you can see, we've got four nose cones on this. And, uh, well, five if you count the center one, but that's grabbing up. But yeah, the aerodynamics of this rocket will be re severely reduced because of those size of those tanks. So you're never entirely sure of the total Delta V of this until you've launched it up into orbit and see what you have left. Now, uh, what do we have here? We've got 7,600. I'm sure that's enough. I'm not entirely sure though, because also you, we don't have the Olberth effect because we're not in orbit around Kerbin. But hey, at least we're gonna capture an asteroid in solar orbit. Right, as we go in for the approach and the capture, as always, I read out the comments in my videos. Oh, this one in a Kerbal Quest. So let's go for the first. Rectangle. Awesome game, by the way. Beautiful as always. Thank you very much. Awesome gamer, aka the beast. Where do you live? I love your accent. Also, can I be a Kerman? A Kerbal, it should be. And put my name as Jacob. It will be Jacob. We may see him somewhere on the screen at the moment. But yes, I'm from South Wales, the UK, the original South Wales, not the new South Wales in Australia. No, that's the almost the other side of the planet me. South Wales in the UK. I'm Welsh, but I don't speak Welsh. I speak English as my native language. All weird stuff. But yeah, the accident, accident, the accent comes from our Welsh heritage, I suppose. I haven't got a thick Welsh accent. But it's noticeable to other people. It's not noticeable to me, so yeah. It's weird when people point this out to me. Anyway, now we're going for our approach to the asteroid. Will we bounce off it? Will we attack it? Or will we explode with a delight? You probably already know the answer. Because it's all the be you know, the, uh, this episode. Right, 3.2 meters per second. I always mean to check the stats of the grabbing arm because I'm sure there's a speed limit or there's a maximum speed or a minimum speed that you need to be able to grab an object. Yeah, because I know because that happens. It bounces, it skids around. <laughs> Luckily, we do grab hold of it. Probably because the, uh, the asteroid was rotating fast enough. Anyway, engaging our maneuver nodes that we have per up to encounter Duna. And you can see that I'm using nuclear engines. That's how I got the large Delta V from this. Otherwise, if I use some of the larger normal fueled engines, the Delta V will be severely reduced, I think. I'm not entirely sure. And we do have a way to go before we get to Duna. Anyway, this is not the biggest burn I suppose I've done for an dissect for Duna. Although I'm sure it'd be a lot less if we were in orbit around Kerbin because of the old birth effect as I mentioned previously. Which is some weird effect that if you're in orbit around a planet you're traveling faster because you're closer to the gravity well. And for some reason if you use your burn at the closest approach to a planet you have more velocity change because you add into the already existing velocity that you have in orbit. Anyway, as we're approaching Duner, from A77E Kerbal, you shall be added. John Bung, great vid man, Kerbal. Wait a minute, did I add? I, think I forgot to add A77E. Unless you change your name. Something got me thinking that you might have changed your name. Hmm, don't worry, I'll add you again. <laughs> Just because you've changed the name. <laughs> John Bones, great vid man. Kerbal, you shall be added. Mr. Carrot, Kerbal, again? I don't remember adding a carrot before. Anyway, Mr. Carrot, you were added. Finn Gerber, wait, what were? 
Ah, in the last episode, I was mentioning a war. I have been planning a war series for quite a while. However, I've never gotten to doing one. That's because doing a war in Kerbal Space Program, especially a space war, is extremely hard. Now, I was going to decide to do a war on the ground. If I do a war in space, it has to be a bit more cinematic, it has to be more set up and using mech jab or something to try to fight the enemy. It's, it's really hard. I've tried several attempts on doing a war in space. And several people have tried it and their episodes are no longer running. So yeah, it's a bit hard. But space planes, uh, not space planes, aeroplanes in the atmosphere, they are awesome with using BD Armory mod. So yes, that's what I'll probably do. And a tank war. And easy, you can even get naval ship mods for the game so yeah that's where i'll be planning on doing but i'm doing a tutorial series for ksp so it's not high on my list at the moment i think the tutorials are a bit more important because they help people and i've been meaning to do a series where starting from extreme beginning but in sandbox mode teaching newbies the way of the kerbal anyway trish crab amazing video orbiter you're a very skilled at curve at Kerbal. Also, I forgot my Kerbal. I was a Kerbal, sorry. Yes, you're a Kerbal. And don't worry. I forgot you were a Kerbal until I had a look at the list. I keep a list of Kerbal names. Anyway, from Beastman2875. Yay! I love studying asteroids. Well, here we are. I found close and personal with another asteroid. I'm gonna see what the reflected red light from Tuna does to an asteroid. Perhaps it tastes like chocolate, man. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Anyway, getting into a circular orbit around Juno. As we read Alex Bublik, Mark, you messed up the title. Asteroid Day. Anyway, cool episode. Yes, you noticed. I messed up the title of the last video. It was supposed to be Asteroid Day because Asteroid Day was that weekend. Anyway, let's name off the Kerbals that we had on this mission. John Bunge. Bunge. Bing. Bunge. I'm not sure how to say your name. Then we have Japet Kerman. Also, who is this? I forgot to click on your name. But you are Mr. Sleek Penguin. Awesome stuff. And A77E, I did not forget, I knew it! Unless you change the name of the Kerbal at the same time as you change your name on, on YouTube. Frosty Kerman, he's called. Oh, and Spider-Man! Yeah, I fancy, I think we're gonna watch that tomorrow, after recording this. Probably, <laughs> while you're watching this, I'll be watching Spider-Man. Mr. Carrot, Jack Frost, we have two cool Kerbals on this mission. The rest are quite hot. Gaming Liam. And if you wonder about the accessories I got in the Kerbals, they are... I forgot the name of the mod now. They are an accessory to the Kerbal. <laughs> anyway, John Deeds. These amazing Kerbals have captured an asteroid, transported it to the depths, through the depths of space, towards a lonely planet with only one moon. It felt left out because Kerbin had two. It had a small moon called Mimus and the main moon called the Man. Spelt M U N, but with two dots above it, so it spells, actually says moon. Anyway, now I decide what happens if we de orbit it? Orbit this asteroid. Don't worry, I've quick saved before this. I know the most likely answer is that everything's gonna die, or Kerbals at least. But let's see what happens in any case. Okay, first off, I decided we'll use the asteroid as a heat shield. But I realized that Tuna's atmosphere is extremely thin. So we're going to turn around and burn against it. But as we're doing this deorbit, let's read some more comments from Jet Frosting Gaming. Yes, I've added you. James Stewart, Kerbal, Travis Cohen. Yes, you have been added. Mr. Sleep Penguin, you've been added. John Deeds, yes. And he says, love your vids, keep up the great work. Gaming Liam, Liam YouTube, how to Minecraft and more. Yellow. What, yellow or white? It looks white to me. 
Yellow Orbiter, can you take my Kerbal from Elu to another solar system and land on a planet? Unfortunately, you're no longer on Elu because this is a brand new save. And we don't have other solar systems because that mod seemed to have messed up the game at the time. Because each planet didn't have a gravity well. So it couldn't get into orbit. And we are out of control. Yeah, that was the point where I realised I had to go for reverse thrusting. But it seems that the weight of the rocket is greater than that, the weight of the asteroid. So the, the aerodynamics is pushing the rocket the other way around. I tried to use the rocket engines to turn, but it doesn't seem to work. Anyway, if we can't do anything, let's at least rename the asteroid. Duna Rocking. Yes, we're doing the rocking. <laughs> Dylan 47 asteroids are cool. Obviously they are because I keep on going for them. Frosty dude, yes, I asked you as Frosty Kerman, and Ibra Spid wanted Spider-Man, which is on this mission. And one of the best comments I've had in a while, Acroflockvenzar. Gasps! You thought my previous asteroid quest was not was for asteroid day? No, no, no. It is merely a quest for a new space station platform around Ulu. For your information, Ilu is my number one export area for chocolate. Once we get an asteroid base around curb around Ilu, think of all the chocolate we mine from that sweet Ilu surface. In fact, we may earn enough money to build that as that space gas station. Well, love you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aqua Flock, Flock Venza. Anyway, the asteroid survived. If we put the Kerbals... Oh, we did put the Kerbals underneath the, <laughs> the Grabbing Claw. But I was wondering, the Grabbing Claw survived. So what if we surrounded the base with uh, the the ship with asteroids? So the asteroids would take the impact. Would the asteroids squashing the rocket destroy it? What? I don't know. It's got, but this brought a few questions up for me. Especially about the physics of asteroids. Well, in case we not in real life, by the way. When I get a bit more chance, perhaps I'll experiment with that. In fact, I could hyper edit a cheat for that because I don't have the time to launch rockets all the time. However, Flog Venzer, I think we will do an asteroid base to another world and beyond. Maybe Elo, I don't know. We've got an asteroid in orbit around Kerbin, so we have one ready. Anyway, as we're on the topic of asteroid mission, perhaps you could think of another mission after we've done, after we finished our asteroid run. Because there's plenty of things we could do in KSB. Obviously, try to keep your idea as a mission to perhaps a single launch mission. I don't know. Like this one. This is a single launch mission. It took me a bit of time to build it and a bit of time to make sure I get the rendezvous with the asteroid and take it to Duna. But I proved to myself it can be done. Even though we had all those pesky Kerbin encounters, yeah, I think we've done pretty well with this mission. I was quite pleased with myself. Normally, I, you know, do missions that I know I can do. This is one of the ones I did not know that I could do. Well, really, it's one of the ones that I don't, haven't done in quite a while. Anyway, don't forget, I have a Discord server. Well, if you didn't forget and you didn't know, now you know that I've got a Discord server. Link to the Discord server is in the description below. And don't forget to write Kerbal in your comment if you want to be added to the Kerbal in a new mission coming up soon to an orbiter near you. Also, I'm also part of Matt Lone's Discord server. Anyway, if you liked that, this video, crank that like button like an engineer. And yeah, subscribe if you want to. <laughs> yeah, that's optional. Anyway, I am Orbator. Trust me, I'm an awesome dude, engineer, who takes rocks to other planets. Anyway, say bye. Oh, I left all those kerbals floated around. That was funny.